and uh, there was one biggest problem I faced is the JDs are having a whole set of requirements, especially in India. I don't know whether they are using that technology or not, but they want it. <laughs> <laughs> And that is becoming frustrating for a person who is transitioning. Uh, I have been a hiring manager at Little JDs. Okay. So I will give you the story from the other side. From the other side, the problem is, imagine I am a hiring manager. I am a pretty GDP student. Three months down the line. They might be really where I have to use uh, NLP or computer vision. There I can't go again and hire a data scientist who knows that. Because my requirements themselves, the tools that my team has to use change every quarter. So I'm, when I write my JD, I'm writing making sure everything is there. So I just wanted to check, so how like the data scientists work, how much is it uh, domain knowledge needed? Like, like how often do recruiters search for domain knowledge expertise with data science? Uh, so maybe I have two candidates. Suppose I'm hiring, suppose I'm a digital marketing now. You have a and he has a life He has over a decade of experience in digital marketing. Your data science knowledge is the same. I will be willing to pay him at least 50 50 percent more. Because he'll get working tomorrow. I have to teach you all the basics. So Shrikan, can you tell me the most important skills required for someone who wants to pursue this particular ESM and domain? Okay, cool. So uh, again, there are technical skills and there are non-technical parts of it. Technically, certainly programming, Python, SQL, then basic skills of probability, statistics, basic mathematics to do rigorous data analysis, certainly machine learning, deep learning techniques, some coding, some basics of how to deploy your models, etc. Those are the technical aspects. But equally important, I would say more important is the ability to solve real world business problems treating all of data science and machine learning as tools. At the end of the day, these are your tools. Solve business problems and equally importantly, have the persistence to learn new techniques, have the skills to learn new things that come because this field is moving so fast. Exactly. Bottom line, that's what I would suggest. So since you're already there in this particular industry since so, so long, what do you think where this particular industry is like moving in the future? Like where the future is heading towards? So it will be very hard to predict. I'll only make a fool of myself if I predict anything. Because if you ask me this question like seven, eight months back, I wouldn't have been able to predict ChatGPT's own existence. So it's moving fast, which is good, which means there are new things, there is new innovation, there is new things for us to learn. There is new things that will change a lot of aspects of business and in general the world around us. So I think we're in a golden age of sorts. It's very hard to predict where this will plateau off or whether this exponential raise will happen. But again, there is so much of investment of people, money, resources, all sorts of things that I think we are in a golden age. And of course, now governments are also kicking in. They also want to invest heavily in AI and related technologies. So I think we have a good streak ahead of us. But how long is anybody's guess? So what are the recent technical trends that have been happening in this domain? Again, this depends a lot on, and there's, there's so many dimensions in which it's happening. What is what is something that many people know is ChatGPT. Right? Another thing is a lot of AI is being used for social good that we often don't get to know about. That's another very interesting dimension. The third thing is taking all this cutting edge AI and putting it on simple devices like your smartphones. It's something that companies like Google and Apple have pioneered, but there is more and more of that that's happening. These are the while these are the three things that consumers see, there's also an enterprise side of it. Now, almost every major enterprise player wants to incorporate some amount of intelligence or some amount of data analysis and data science. And we are still in its infancy. There are a lot of aspects of business that are not data driven, which will be data driven. Right? So, I think uh, that's what will happen. So, what are your strong point of advice, strong suggestions for people who want to pursue this particular? So one is, uh, please continuously keep learning, don't stop learning because the field is moving so fast. It is probably one of the fastest moving fields, so we have to continuously learn and which means continuously upskill yourself. Spend at least a few hours a week continuously learning, that's what I would say. But people are getting into the domain, please have the patience back because the field is vast. It's vast and it's fast growing. 
So please be patient, please be diligent, please have the persistence and grit to go through the whole thing. That is super duper important because I see a lot of people who think, hey, this is like I learned for two months and I'll become a data scientist. No, it takes time. Great, thanks a lot. Hey, thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. Time. Thank you. Only when you join the group. So hi Shishank. Shishank is also one of the uh, okay you can introduce yourself. What are you doing at uh, you know, scalar ecosystem, right? Okay, I'm a student at Scalar, uh, a data science machine learning student. Okay. I just joined in June 22. Last okay, year. okay. So, uh, Shishan, what do you think? What are the topic of interest that can be added for further events of uh, of these community events? So, we have been organizing a variety of events since last six months. So we had sports meetups and all, but this time we have tried where students can interact with tutors and all. So next what we are planning is probably we can bring mentors or TAs which will help uh, students learn more technical or clear their technical doubts. Thank you, thanks a lot. Hi Charvi, can Hi. you tell us a bit about yourself and then share some insights about okay. the such kind of event that Scalar does? So my name is Charvi and I work as business analyst at a company, product based company. So when it comes to Scalar, I am a part of September 2022 batch and uh, currently I am you know, uh, working on my SQL skills and all that. So that's a little bit about what I'm going through in Scalar as, as a journey. But this events, right, so from my personal experience, it helps you like grow as a person because I did the hosting today, so I got to like what, what kind of questions you should ask, like how you, when you introduce, interview someone, you have to do a little bit research about that person, what they did. So those kind of things I think is really important. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. So let us know from them what challenges they face by learning data science as a domain or as a career option. So let's start with uh, Shushant first. Uh, so yeah, I've got total 16 years of work experience but completely in non-IT and coming from a non-IT background, I thought it will be very challenging initially. But then the coding part though it was a bit easy, once we went into the math and which is very important for machine learning or deep learning. That is where I felt the bigger challenge and then uh, I understood I need to revise topics at least four or five times before I can understand it even better and practically where to use it. Correct. Now let's hear from Chavi what challenges she faced. Okay, so uh, the major challenges I face is because I work a, nine, a job which is like which demands at least nine to ten hours a day. After that I face like major challenge in solving questions on time, doing projects, like keeping up with the uh, with the entire uh, scalar curriculum which is very fast paced because they're trying to get us like from a non-functional or non-tech background to a fully technical person. Yeah. So I think that's the challenge I'm trying to overcome. Thank you. 